of about what we already know. And when you look at Memphis and Minnesota locking in for the first round, Pat Beverly versus John Morant, um, how do you think that series is going to play out? Because honestly, bro, I'm not, I'm still not sold on Memphis and I got Minnesota beating them in this series. Yeah, those, uh, you're not the only one. You know, I'm listening to Inside the NBA last night. Shaq and Chuck was like, Minnesota probably going to pull up against Memphis. You know, Chuck brought up an interesting point. The thing about Memphis, you know, they had a really great regular season, but you're facing like different teams, right. you know, um, each game that you face. This one, you're facing a team, you know, seven times and everything. So the pressure is really on because everybody, it's like the first time we expect Memphis to win a series than we did the previous, you know, couple of years, especially last year when, right. you know, they went up against Utah. So we expect them to win this series. This one's going to be really interesting. Um, the defense really has to step up on Minnesota. You know, Patrick Beverly is going to have the assignment on John Moran. John Moran loves to get into the paint. He led the NBA in point score, uh, paint scoring. So you, you got, you know, P- Pat Bell's got a, a hard assignment, but, you know, he's going to, use his tricks, use his ante, use everything they can to just piss off John Moran. You know, you got Vanderbilt and Carl Anthony Towns got to step up inside the paint because, like I said, John loves to go inside the paint. You don't have to worry just about John. You have to worry about, you know, Desmond Bain going on. You have to worry about Dylan Brooks going on. But Memphis is young and hungry, and the pressure and the lights is on them. I have the Grizzlies winning in five or six games. Just because I think they're a better team. Um, Taylor Jenkins did an amazing job with this team this year, the way that he just lets them play basketball. You know, the third in offense, the fifth in defense, um, just because of the play, the huge addition of Steven Adams, too, as well, um, helping them get better along the screens and going through the screens. Uh, I just, I like this team. They're really hungry. Don't know how far they're going to make it. Um, people got them coming out the West which I'm kind of not really sold on them yet. We just have to see what the first round is going to do. But, um, you know, they got a, a hard team in the hands in Minnesota. Hopefully we don't get the call in for the talents that we saw last night. Hopefully he is able to post up more because I'm tired of seeing him bringing up the ball and trying to shoot and everything. Um, I hope they post him up more. Anthony Ellis is just playing phenomenal. He's going to be a dog. He's going to get after it. Uh, if D'Lo stays healthy and be consistent in scoring, I think Minnesota got a, a good chance, but I'm still going to roll with the Grizzlies. My thing about the Memphis Grizzlies winning a, a series, you know, this leads back to what you actually brought up. When we get into the playoffs and you're now playing the same team at least four times, the game slows up a little bit. Yep. You know, Carl Anthony Towns didn't have that great night last night, but that was a one game situation. I don't have a concern of him playing like that throughout a whole series. Now, at the end of the day, Ja Morant, the Memphis Grizzlies is only going to go as far as Ja Morant takes them. Yes. And in my opinion, talent wise, he has enough to pull this off. Yes. But when you are facing the team like Minnesota with a mixture of young players, veterans, everyone's hungry. Ja, to me, would have to change his mentality in this round. And I'm Mm -hmm. not sure if he's ready to do that yet. And I'm not sure that we've asked any young superstar to completely go away from what they used to or what pretty much got them there. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, to be successful. I don't think that Ja can go out and score 40 a night, you no. know, and, and Memphis win. I th- I mean, you know, in, in Memphis win. I think Memphis, for Ja to, for Memphis to win, I'm thinking Ja Moran has to play way more of a leadership role yeah. instead of a boss role. Make sure everyone's involved, yeah. not concerned about how points unless it's given to him. <laughs> I'm not sure if he's ready for that because he's so young. We don't really usually we see that in a lot of veteran players, a lot of Mm -hmm. players that feel like they, you know, to pretty much reach their prime or at their prime. Mm -hmm. You know, they start to think more mental than anything. And and job physically, man, he's just been unbelievable this season. But it's a team sport. And and I just I just don't think that job the way he's playing is going to get the. Memphis Grizzlies over the hump in the playoffs, but it's going to be a good one. I'm not going to lie, man. Yeah, it's going to be a good series.